Hi, welcome to my last uh, orchid haul video. Uh, this will um, showcase the orchids I got from a German nursery. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that name because I have no idea how to. Uh, it's a nursery I've known about for quite some time and I just recently purchased from them and I'm really happy with the orchids I got. Um, I will just start uh, with this. Uh, this is a really cool, uh, pretty orchid. It's uh, it's called it's the Pleione uh, Pleione Praecox. I'm not sure if you can see, uh, but it's a really beautiful Pleione orchid, and I can't wait to see how this orchid will do for me. I can already see a small new little growth down in there. I'm not sure uh, it's not the season to grow, but uh, it's fine. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty flower, so can't wait. This is something quite special. It's a tiny, tiny seedling and it will be quite a few years until I can see some blooms, but I can't wait. This is the Dimorphosis rossii. It's a bit hard to read. Uh, uh, as you may know, uh, it's more famous um, relative, the Dimorphosis uh, lowii. Uh, this also um, grows uh, uh, flower spikes with uh, female and male flowers that look completely different on the same spike. Uh, one of them is a deep yellow and the other is creamy white. So I can't wait to see it in bloom. I hope I don't kill it, but for now it's a really healthy little seedling. Um, this is the third orchid I want to share. It's an epidendrum, as you may see. Um, this is the Epidendrum Capricornu. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll write the name in the description, but it's a really beautiful pink epidendrum and I can't wait to see it in bloom. It's quite amazing and the plant looks healthy. It's still in growth mode, so yeah, I can't wait. Uh, then I will share this. No, I will not share this because that's from another order. Um, I will share this one. Uh, I can't wait to see this in bloom. As you can see, it is in spike. Um, that was a really pleasant surprise when I opened. It also has a little tiny growth, but I can't, um, I can't wait for the flower. It's the species frag. Uh, it's the Phragmopedium Bessé uh, and it has really beautiful red flower. Um, you might have heard of the Phragmopedium Andean Fire, which was the orchid I originally wanted to get, but I couldn't, couldn't find it, uh, so I got the Bessé and I'm really happy about it. It's It has produced a bud in there, I can tell, but... and will probably be in bloom in some time and I will share that beautiful bloom with you when it arrives. Then I will show you another um, Pathiopedalum. This is the Pathiopedalum micranthum. Um, it has really beautiful pink and yellow flowers and I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. Uh, it's really beautiful. And I can't wait to see it in bloom. It's supposedly, supposedly blooming size, but it looks a bit small, but I'm not sure how big it's supposed to be. But again, beautiful model leaves. Then we have something really cool. It's a species um, Cattleya. This is the uh, Cattleya Schilleriana, a really pretty, uh, really magnificent uh, species. Um, 
It's supposedly flowering size. It hasn't flowered yet, but recently it produced its first ever bifoliate growth. So um, flowers may come on the next one. Uh, it's a cute plant. I am pretty sure this was grown from seed because you can see the tiny pseudobulbs, but here's to hoping for flowers in the near future. And then the last one, which is the only booming size um, uh, catacetum type orchid I got. It's the uh, Cygnod in a Catamodes Black Magic Millennium. It's a really beautiful um, a deep purple catacetum type. And I can't wait to see it in bloom. I hope it gets blooms this season, but I've never had catacetum, so we'll see how how it goes. But I'm really happy about the plant itself. It's healthy and yeah, I can't wait to see it in bloom. I was really hoping for um the um the catacetum uh, black pearl. Um I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but the black catacetum, but uh, they sold out just the day before I was going to make my order. So this is what I have. Um, I hope you enjoyed this orchid haul and I can't wait to share uh, the blooms and updates as the time goes by. I hope you have a nice day uh, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.